Welcome to a very special Sonic Adventure, in which I will be describing why I still play Sonic games. This is going to be a lesson in clever game design, mixed with challenge and frustration to make something truly remarkable. Lost World, ladies and gentlemen, Stage 9. Alright. So the idea is we're going to the center of the runes. Yeah, fair enough. It's a uh, Mayan-themed level. It's like a temple sort of thing. Looks pretty yes. nice. Yes, yes. Got these uh, cool-ass quarters. That's just really nice. That's that's a really neat effect. I like that. Blows the next part of the stage. Keeps get you the speed. Get you some rings. Uh, nice little thing we got going on there. I can dig that. And then whoa. Hmm. Okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Good enough. Good enough. I can't believe and... you made it through that without getting hit. <laughs> Neither can I, frankly, but hey, that's, <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about this. Alright, this is- whoa, that whoa! was just lucky as hell. Uh, no kidding. Alright, we are coming to a very special room where it shows the reason why I still play Sonic uh, Sonic games in general. Here we go. Hintball says... Press the three hidden switches in the room to open the front door. Oh god, three hidden switches? Uh, jeez. Alright, let's start over here. Is this a switch? No, okay, that's not a switch. Alright, so can't go any more right, let's go left. All right, some stairs going up. Makes sense. Oh, another hint ball. Is this? Oh, this is a switch. What does this do? Oh, okay. Switch to raise the water level. Oh, all right. That just raises the water level. Fair enough. But where else do I go? There's no way to get up there, unless if I were to use this thing. Ah, okay. So now we have the uh, unique selling point of the room, so to speak. This is the X factor. So, uh, well, wh where do I go now? I mean, I'm just kind of sitting out here, not doing anything, and- Wait, what's this light? What's that? Oh, wait, is that a switch? That looks like a switch. Oh, okay, so I use this switch to hit those three switches. All right, so now I know what I'm looking for, and now I got away I can keep going up. All right, makes sense. Looking good so far, right? And look at that. Another, uh, water pressure, or a water level switch. So that goes up, and all right. Yeah, I get it now. Head back on the snake. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting this. And oh, look at that. Switch number two. Perfect. Those lights really, uh, really, uh, shine on, don't they? Really well. Alright. Heading up, uh, another water level switch. Gonna go over these spikes, and over there is the third switch, so I know exactly where to go. Alright. We got this. That wasn't so bad, was it? The problem is, they got items there that you can try and get that you can miss, and then when you die, well... No. Are you still with me? Yes, I was taking all that in, and it was very nice. So now we'll skip ahead a little bit. Alright, back where uh, we <clears throat> stopped last time. And uh, I will just not go for that item, because that is not meant to be obtained from here, clearly. But now the path seems clear. You can use this guy to ride all the way around the room and hit that switch. And that'll be the third one, and we'll be golden. Right? Right. So let's go. I really do like the feeling of conveyance to the player. Yeah, it feels nice, doesn't it? You don't expect it a lot in a Sonic game. Not these days, no. But it's just this subtle bit of conveyance, that way the game's not explicitly telling you all the time, but you figure things out for yourself, and there you go. Oh, well, there's also a lot less pitfalls. And now, for the last hurdle, making it back. Hmm... Alright, let's wait for it to come around again, and here we go! Cool. Camera's not really cooperating with me right now. I'm trying to get it turned around uh -oh. so I can see what's coming. Uh-oh. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, okay, well, all right. Trying to turn it. Not working. I uh, foresee shenanigans. Oh, there it is. Shit. Uh, oh, man. Ah, you could have made it. All right, let's, try, let's uh, see if I can get it on the come around again. Maybe it heads more to the back so the camera can zoom out a bit. Really wish I had a second stick. <laughs> Tell you what. Not until later, buddy. Alright, is this gonna be good? What? No, maybe not. Shit. Alright, go, go for it, go! And... Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Huh. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Alright. This is the real. The real one. 
I promise. Sure, sure. Took, took me extra try to get up here, but not the point. Okay. This is going to be the run. With a level like this being this big, it is good that they give you an easy way to get around. Instead of, you know, leap of faith logic. All right, hit it, and... Oh, I missed! But I can still save it. I can still save this. You just have to hurry. See, the last few times I uh, got stun-locked into oblivion. But now, with a little bit of... Jeez. ...quick pacing... The jump in the water is... fantastic. Uh, yeah. You're underwater, after all. Well, I know, but in, in, in other ones, you would just plummet to your death, or just go through the floor. So that's very nice that they did that. That's that, that's a way to recover yourself if you fuck up. That's your that's your safety net, as it were. It's just mm. not in the center of the room. We made it, and there we go. Congrats. And don't you feel so accomplished? Praise the sun. Look. There we go. And now for a not so fun part. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. Got uh, easily uh, easy kill ledges. Not so much easy kill ledges. So much that everything's dark and they uh, throw mirrors on you that you gotta shine lights into to other mirrors to light to light the way. Oh, really? There you go. Hmm. Okay, you kind of lost me with this level. Use the mirror to help guide you. You probably couldn't tell because I just kind of dashed into the room without showing anything, but they're like these mirrors that shine light. You shine them into other mirrors and it sort of opens up the path. This reminds me of like a Crash Bandicoot level. I know, right? It feels like it kind of slows everything down a bit, though. Not a big fan of this part. So much as the last. Difficult as it may have been. Yeah, this seems this seems way too, uh, like, calculating. Bit like, of a step back. Yeah, you're you're gonna die if you rush it because you can't see. Yeah, the fact that I have to stop and adjust the mirror that that really breaks flow. Give them points really... for creativity, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good gimmick for a level, but if we did have to do it so many times, or maybe if there was a less stupid way of doing it, like if we hit a switch and there was a time limit, maybe, no. maybe not that happening. Hmm. And having to start all the way back at the beginning. Oh, good. That's, that's, oh, yeah, that's very good. So then you start to get impatient, you start to rush. <laughs> which is not good for this level. Now, I think what would have what would have salvaged this, at least this gimmick part, is having multiple rooms with, let's say, two mirrors each. So you have to run, uh, you have to adjust the mirror, light up half of the room... They need to need to make it over, and maybe a little hints to uh, like hidden places with one ups and everything. I still but, think uh, a, I still think a light switch that only shows up for a few set like a set amount of time would work. Mm, I could see that. Oh, there you are, found a hidden place. At least there are uh, hidden routes. That is that is good. So see if this is uh, more beneficial. I guess it's a little bit speedier because you don't have to deal with any uh, mirrors. Oh my gosh, slopes! I was just getting going on flashbacks. But then you have the old problem of dying at the same place you died before. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> so for real this time. Once more with feeling. Let's do it right. Let's do it correctly. So that ball of light led you to this, correct? Yes. Is this... God damn it! <laughs> so this was a trap, is what you're saying. Uh, there is a reason why she's leading me in here. She? Oh yeah, you couldn't tell how had a woman's voice? Yeah, it, uh, okay. I just didn't think you could gender a ball of light. If, if it has a distinct woman's voice, I think I would not be in error to call it a she. You got me there. So, alright. We'll, we'll get to whatever you were talking about later. Because <laughs> it will come up again, but let's just see if we can focus, take our time, take it easy. I predict a game over. Yeah, because if, if I die again, it is game over, and <sighs> I have to start everything over again. 
Including Sonic Story. Eh, no. Oh, okay. Thankfully, no. It's not anything that <laughs> Oh, that would be cruel. What's also yeah. better is, uh, uh, incidentally, if you do get a game over, you can just hit continue and start the level over again. Oh, that's nice. Compared to Sonic 06, where if you get a game over, it's just, oh, fuck you. No, I was just thinking, like, what if that was cruel reality for Sonic Team to say? It's like, if you get a game over a Sonic, that's game over. Sonic is dead. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is neat. It's like, all right, blow some steam off from that frustration by a fast water slide level that dumps Whoa! you down here. <laughs> oh. See? That's cool. That is cool. It's neat. Cool locales. That doesn't take the same place over and over again like Sonic 06 does. And now... Oh. Boulder? Yeah! Cue Indiana Jones. Oh, it's gaining on you. By spin dashing, I can instantly be faster. Oh, I thought it was actually rubber banding you. I guess I saw it wrong. I think it is. Okay. It'll <laughs> always be a set distance away from you, but it'll always come towards you, you know? So. Hmm. Alright, oh. I'm Good. glad you knew where to go. I could have been implemented a little bit better. Now for the last leg of the dungeon, the pretty much. To light up the wall panels. You can walk on those panels when lit. Gimmick for this one is you hit these switches, the panels will change around on the wall, and if some of them connect, they light up. And when they light oh. up, you can walk on them! Oh, wow. Is this on a time limit? Uh, no. Okay. No time limit. It's all in a switch. It's a very switch-based uh, level here, I guess. Next place is back here. It's not exactly confusing to navigate, because again, Pretty good conveyance most of the way through, especially when they have the rings guiding your way. Well, it also looks like it's on a fixed camera around these parts, anyway. Yeah. Orientation can be a little bit tricky sometimes, though. Ah! Aww. Oh, God. Alright, so there's a checkpoint. About halfway done with this, which means we're almost at the end of the level. Don't die! I'm a try! <laughs> Yeah, you talk like it's so easy. No guarantees! This is where things get really tricky. Because you have to go over, down, and around, pretty much. And, uh, the way the control orientation works itself can be a little wonky. Anyway, there. Case in point. Up, oh, up! Oh, oh. If you, if you jump, you're doomed. Oh man. So now... I will now fade out, and we'll get back to where we were. Because we're down at the fucking bottom! I actually thought you were going to get a game over. And we're back. Let's try this again. Once more with feeling, again. With real feeling. I want you to really feel it. Just got to be really careful and go really slow, pretty much. Because, like I said, you got to go over... You gotta go down. Oh gosh! And over again. Yeah, the camera keeps changing. When the camera keeps changing on you, that doesn't make you anything better. Oh jeez! <laughs> that thing too <laughs> fucking you up. So yeah, this is uh, not nice. But there you go. Hey, look at that! You are the Sonic Master. Oh, I try. And you just head on down here. And whoa! Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, redact I'm that. I'm glad I had oh, rings! Oh, totally redact that. <laughs> One more light speed dash to really drive the point home. Oh, that's mean if you mess it up. Yeah! What the I hell? Like, I feel like the game could have messed me up there really badly. Yeah, no kidding. We're done! Yes. Oh, cool! So that was about a 10 minute level. Pretty ingenious design, yeah, but, bad. you know, it, it was fun to play. Yeah. For the most part. I didn't like doing all that backtracking, but hey, it's all part of the struggle, you know? So yeah, the puffball is leading you in here for a reason to show you this. The flames of Soliana? What's this? Not quite. <laughs> I'm gonna smack you for that oh, no. shit. <laughs> oh, chaos. 
Looks like that thing we saw in the opening uh, cinematic. Uh oh. Final boss. Station Square. Not quite. Darn it. <laughs> the flames of Soliana. This is real <laughs> fire. <This place. laughs> Where am I? Nobody's this crying really except weird. Mother Earth. <laughs> okay. So, what is this mysterious place that has befallen our hero? Well, find out next time on Sonic Adventure. I don't have anything. Okay. Next time!